welcome back to my channel oh my goodness it feels so good to be back uploading again and been able to communicate with you it's been four months since my last upload to this channel and I really do apologize about that but the premise behind this video is to just give you a brief explanation as to why and I've also got some potentially exciting news as well which I wanted to share with you about a video I will be posting tomorrow that I think could really be of help but I'm a little bit nervous so let me just talk you through it so my last upload to the channel uh, which was back in November was how I had come off my mental health medication all of them called turkey very very irresponsible and had gone back onto them after it ended in disaster with not taking them <laughs> and um, yeah I, I felt pretty stable and it certainly helped a lot but I genuinely thought the beginning of this year was going to bring me like a fresh new lease of life. Um, I was going to go for all my goals and achieve them and all this stuff. And it didn't quite work out like that. So I just want to sort of talk you through a little bit what happened there and my upload that is coming up for the channel. So my video that is planned to be uploaded tomorrow uh, is all edited and sorted and done. So I just wanted to run it by you first and make sure it's something that you want to see. Is going to be, yes, the scariest video I've done yet, but hopefully one of the most helpful as well. So I will be documenting the journey of how I lost my right eye. And uh, if you follow my channel, you'll know where I fall sigh. Apparently, if I didn't tell people, they wouldn't notice, which is reassuring. But I will be actually explaining that because I've uh, talked about my false eye on my channel, but not about the reasoning behind it. So it's going to be my addiction journey. And the way it will be formatted is it's not just going to be me sat doing a story time. It's actually real life footage so photos and videos and all this stuff about me in active addiction but also just to put a positive spin on it my recovery too so you can really see the difference between when i was at the depths of despair and extremely unwell and how i got to a healthy and happy place in my life so that will be uploaded if if you want to see it by tomorrow because like i say it's all ready to go i just wanted a little bit of feedback first and um yeah i'm hoping i can inspire people with that that change is possible and recovery is so beautiful and in terms of what's been going on with me from my last upload on the channel to now like I say, I'm back on my medication and I'm feeling stable now. Hopefully that shows in the video. I'm actually feeling really upbeat and have like a zest for life back and that feels really good. But the main two conditions I suffered with that I suffered with in the past and that's why I'm on medication for is um, psychosis and depression and they hit me really, really hard. It was not drug-induced psychosis like I have done a video on in the past if you uh, want to look through my channel and see about that. It was standard psychosis which can be even scarier because I know it's my own brain and not any substance that is affecting me. So um, what I would like to do with that is I've done videos on what general psychosis feels like on my channel before and they seem to have helped people and helped them relate and that kind of stuff but it was more just purely talking about the experience now what i want to do say within a week's time i would be really keen to upload this is um so the addiction video will be out tomorrow oh, i hope it goes down well and within the next week i would like to upload a, a video on my journey through this psychosis and depression that I've been through sort of this year and not only what it felt like to help people relate but also what I did to help me get better and, and, and what um, accompanied me and, and what motivated me and what got me right again because I'm feeling in such a good place now. I am at this point, never get, I never get complacent with my mental health, but I don't feel any depression or that heavy feeling in my heart or my stomach. I don't feel psychosis, so I'm not seeing or hearing anything that's stressing me out. Um, I'm feeling very good in myself, and I wanted to give, as well as talking about the experience, 
advice on what got me well, but not just medication, because of course my medication helps a lot, but also other tips. So if you're not in a position to take meds or you are on your medication, but you're still struggling, other things that helped me as well. So yeah, today's video is gonna be pretty brief and I'm just going to summarize basically what I said and then uh, get on with the upload to put out tomorrow. So I've been away for four months, I've struggled but I'm doing fine and I'm feeling good and thank you so much for all the supportive messages people that have checked in on me when they've not seen me been uploading that's been so lovely because I still do see the YouTube comments even when I'm not uploading and it it makes my heart happy and and the kind words that people say and also on my previous videos I've posted seeing people still watching them now and still being able to take something from them and and going out of their way to comment to put nice things or explain their journey with me that's all so lovely so I'll get this video out now which is just a basically hello I'm back and I'm okay and um, there's going to be quite a lot of content on my channel because it's uh, a edited and ready to go. I've just been struggling and I've been nervous because the longer I've been away from the camera, the more scared I've been to pick it up and get back into it. But now I'm sat here talking to you. It's like the best feeling ever. So my addiction journey will be out tomorrow. If a uh, trigger warning, if that's going to be too much for you to watch, I would advise not doing because like I say, it will have real life footage of me not well. Um, and photographs of my decline and things like that but I'm still really keen to get that out because I put a lot of time and effort into it and it's something in my heart I wanted to do for a long time and I've been too scared so if you think that would be beneficial please leave a comment because it'll just uh, help my confidence a bit when I have to press that upload button for that video and then uh, following that we will be doing a discussion about my recent psychosis and depression and how I got better so hopefully that can help too so just in a nutshell I want to say wholeheartedly how grateful I am to everyone that watches my videos and if you leave comments and likes and things none of it goes unnoticed I, I do uh, personally reply to every comment on my channel I've got a few I've got to get to now because YouTube analytics changed the way they show so I got a little confused but I'll figure it out I always personally reply to comments and it means the whole world to me so thank you for all the ongoing support if I could get to 500 subscribers subscribers i can't even talk but i'm that excited 500 subscribers that would make me like over the moon happy so stay tuned for tomorrow's video like i say if uh, it's too triggering for you then i understand but if it's um if you want to know about my journey and exactly what i went through and see the the rawness and the grittiness of it then yes that will be out uh within 24 hours so i hope it goes down well and i love you all so much and i hope you have a fantastic day ciao for now